of women here, my dear, and men don't think that way. You know, the husband goes out, that's it. What they do, it's, it's our business. Yeah. We're, we're looking to make um, a program to go out this Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, and we'd like to have some new material. Mm. We've got some, obviously, that we haven't used. Is there anything you could point us to that would uh, you think would hurt him further, that he would know we've got right to the heart of things, that nobody else knows and, and we could expose on on television. Mm. I mean, we, we could do what we did last week and put the voice over as an actor mm. uh, with the information, if we could check it out and verify it, corroborate it. How do you check out some of the things I would tell you? Know, it's well, if you tell them, it's, we, we, we've got our well, own sources. Yeah, obviously you have. And other people who might well, have known what about it. What Jack's worried about is that there are instances which are specific and only specific to yourself. Yes. And that you are identifiable by that. Yeah. Obviously that has been the situation with everybody we have mm. talked to. And we have been very careful to make sure that everybody in, in the program, there was no way that, that anybody could get back to them. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been very careful on that. What is what all those people who you talk to, you know, who are anonymous in the program who were given a pseudonym. Um, we had we knew were genuine what they were telling us. Yeah. But we only took out small bits of very long statements mm -hmm. and affidavits from them. So from that point of view it was it, you know we're well, not they in can't the, tell. We already know they've tried checking and they can't find out who these people are. We're not in the business of getting people shocked at mm. I mean that's that's not right. what we're after. Well you see uh, Things that I would be giving you would be people's lives we'd take, and you say that's 